So you'd like to upgrade to Windows 11. Well, today we're gonna show you how to upgrade from Windows 10 to Windows 11. It's really quite simple to do. And as long as your computer meets the minimum requirements set out by Microsoft, you'll be running Windows 11 in no time. I will put a link to the Microsoft website below where you can download and install Windows 11 for yourself. But hey, if you are new here, my name is Ken, and this is Northern Viking Every Day, and we're bringing videos on reviews and how-tos, so please consider subscribing so you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. Let's go ahead and dive right into installing Windows 11 on my computer. All right, so here we are on the Microsoft website. And again, I will put a link to this page below in the description. Now there are a few different ways to install Windows 11. And the one we're using today is Windows 11 Installation Assistant. This is the best option for installing Windows 11 on the device you're currently using. And you wanna go ahead and click on this before you begin button here. And once you do that, it'll go through what it's gonna do, but you wanna make sure that you qualify that your device meets the specifications. So you can click on this and again, go through these system requirements and make sure that your computer does qualify. You can use the PC Health Check app to verify that it will work. Now, once you've done that, you can go ahead and click on download now and it'll start downloading Windows 11. You can actually create a Windows 11 installation media on this page and a Windows 11 disk image on this page as well. We're not gonna get into those today. If you're just upgrading from Windows 10 to Windows 11 and your computer does qualify, just go with this first option. So go ahead and click download now and it'll start downloading the installation assistant for you. And we wanna go ahead and open that up. If it's not at the bottom here, it should be in your downloads area. And you can go ahead and hit yes here where it says, do you want to allow this app to make changes? It's gonna load up the agreement for you and make sure you read through this install Windows 11 agreement. And once you've done that, you can go ahead and hit the accept button down here at the bottom. And it's gonna start downloading Windows 11 to your computer. And I'll come right back to you once it reaches 100%. So once it completes step one of downloading Windows 11, it's gonna move over to step two, which is verifying the download. This one's a little bit quicker, but again, it has to go up to 100%. So once it's done step two, it's gonna move on to step three, which is actually installing Windows 11. This one took a little bit longer for myself, about 10 to 15 minutes. So I'm gonna fast forward it again here, and then I'll come right back to you. So once the installation is complete, your computer will automatically restart after 30 minutes, but the better way to do it is to click on restart now and restart your computer so it can load up Windows 11 and configure it so you can use it right away. So once your computer restarts, it's gonna continue working on the updates. It says, please keep your computer on, so don't turn off your computer during this time and your computer may restart a few times during this process. Once that's complete, you'll need to click on the screen and type in your PIN if you use one. If you don't use a PIN, it should bypass this screen and start loading in and setting up Windows 11 for you. So it'll say hi there, getting things ready for you. And you'll just have to wait for Windows 11 to load up. This may take a few minutes. And again, don't turn off your PC during this time. Almost there. And there it is, Windows 11. And everything seems to be working perfect. That's awesome. And really it's that simple to upgrade from Windows 10 to Windows 11 officially from the Microsoft website. So I hope this video was able to help you in upgrading to Windows 11. If it did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also remember to connect with me on social media. You'll find all those links below in the description. Thank you so much for watching today and until next time, take care.